What's going on guys? It's Kuday here and today I want to do a video uh, about classic Shing Tsung in quest mode. So I did this for Lizard Baraka and the video was holy crap it got a lot of views. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give an update on it because people always ask for each update is the new gold card in quest and the answer is yes. They're also in tower battles. So for example, classic Shing Tsung is in the Fatal Tower. They're not in normal towers because normal towers don't do not include new golds. They only have old golds in the um, classic, the normal, and every normal tower in the game. But Fatal, Fatal Towers do include new golds. And when they repeat towers, they update with whatever the current update is. So like let's say 3.7, they update um what tower was 3.7 again? Oh, sorcerers. So if we had a sorcerer's fatal, then that would have been including new gold. Since we had a normal tower though, that wasn't ac applicable. Um so basically, the best quest to do is quest 112. And that's what I found out. You can unlock new golds through uh this quest right here. Let me go get the quest. Where is it? It was like quest. Oh, I forgot which one it was. It was one of the basic ones. Um, but yeah, you can you can unlock golds from any renown reward. But it seems to be higher in quest 112, which just so happens to be close to the end in the Nether Realm section, which takes a very very long time to get to. And I've tried to say this in the previous video before, but you're not going to be just pulling random new golds all the time. It's going to take you a lot of quests. It could get in 2000s. If you're lucky, could take a couple hundred. It all depends on what happens uh, with the quests you're doing. So, for example, I've done a lot off camera here. So that when I do it on camera, I don't have to do as many quests. But yeah, it's it's not easy. So, so if you're not pulling a random new gold and you're like 100 quests in... Do not think you have the worst luck in the world because you certainly have average luck considering the, the chance is so low. You're going to pull older golds first, I would imagine, unless they have the chances at the same. It, they might, but I feel like it could just be a tad bit lower for new golds. Anyways, let's go right into this. So we got quest 112. Um, this is the team that I have set up. You're going to need a pretty decent team with good equipment fusions. Let me just show you what I have. So, here's the problem. On update 4.0, as of now, 4.0.1 um, is coming tomorrow, but when you see this video, it might have already came out, but we don't see the Renown level up visually. It might be patched in this new version. I don't know, because I, I am not omnip omnipotent. I can't see in the future <laughs> and tell you guys what's going to happen, but uh, it's highly likely to fix itself. Yeah, okay, so we just have Wicked Sister's Sultry Gown on him. Uh, and that's it. Still has 100%. If we took off Wicked Sister's Sultry Gown, would it still be 100%? Just curious. No, it wouldn't. So you're going to need some tower piece, I would imagine. Some some piece that's, like, epic. Let's throw that on. Oh, gosh, dang it. All right, there we go. Uh, and then you can just start the quest like that. You don't need to boost it or anything. The reward will still be able to be given to you regardless of whether you boost or not. This is probably the cheapest way to do it and the most uh, effective way. Because with quest 5, you're going to do so many more. Like, it could possibly take 10,000 with, with this, the small quest. Realistically, should you do this? Should you actually sit there and do quests like 3,000 times to get one copy of a new card? Well, I don't think so now. Why would I say that now and not before? Well, because gold cards are prevalent in the Fatal Tower, and I see so many people getting them. And if you don't get them, that's okay. Your luck is not that bad. It's just a lucky thing to do. But here's the thing about luck, is that over time, your luck gets higher and higher. That's what I personally think. You know, the more you try a 10% chance or a 5% chance, you're going to hit it. So, for example, the Fatal Tower is being extended after the new update comes out, 4.0.1, and with that, you have so much more time again to pull a gold card. You're guaranteed one at 180, so eventually you could pull a new gold card, and also, they are dropping new packs more often than they were before. So you have a chance for pulling um, new golds from packs like Make It Rain or any pack that guarantees a random gold card. 
that's if they keep repeating new packs or dropping them. I don't know if they're going to continue to do that or not. But considering they dropped three in a row for no reason, it can't be a coincidence. Anyways, let's do quest 112 as many times as it takes uh, to get classic Shing Tsung. Close your eyes. Oh my god. Okay, guys, here we go. We finally got classic Shing Song after all of that. Okay, add to collection. Well, we don't need to do any more quests. Okay, so taking a look here, if I sort by newest on my collection, as you can see, Classic Shing Song finally obtained. Is it worth spending tens of thousands of souls? I don't think so. <laughs> like I said before, I, I, I just don't think it's really worth it now that they have the Fatal Oak Tower being extended. They're uh, offering new packs. I don't know. And also, this opinion might be controversial, but one copy of Classic Shang Tsung isn't really going to be useful. That's my personal take on it. Uh, his passive is scaled up with how much um, his fusion is at. So the damage he does with his little beam and whatnot is only going to be determined on his fusion stat. I want to make sure to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Noxon, Stefano, Jeremy, Miltaru, Viperin, Bathory King, Grimmer Emiya, Spada Varsal, JR4495, Shiv, Deadly Abitio, Overkill80, Fitzmagic, Jules, Massive Cool, Rosislav, Ghosty XL, Kevo, BB, Nick the Maniac, Metal Crab 2001, Sieges Empire, Grim, Random, Seven Sane, Reflex Vital, Fierce Wolf, MK Fire, and The Mist. Anyways, guys, peace out.